first let me know how old you are and then tell me what's the worst part of dating in your 20s or if you're in your 30s 40s 50s i would love to know down below because i'm about to give y'all my thoughts like It, it doesn't work that way. It, it just does. 
I say grown, I mean like kids that are in middle school or in high school trying to get other kids to like you. That's not your actual parent. It's actually really difficult. It's just hard. It really is. And this life has not been easy for many. Sorry, there was like a loud, loud, I guess, aircraft or something that just was flying over my apartment. So I had to stop the video. But, um, yeah, at 40, a lot of people have been through their ups and downs. And it's just, they're just stuck in their ways, you know. So, for me, it's difficult to date. And then also, too, like, you, a lot of men at 40 get comfortable just staying home. I, myself, am a homebody. But it's like, can we go to a movie, like, once a month? Can we maybe, I don't know, go out to dinner a little while? You, you know what I mean? Like, I know the world has changed. But it's like, and I think that's what, that's what I liked about my last relationship. You know, although we didn't do many things, we did a lot. You know, we went shopping together. We would walk around Target just to get out, go to the mall just to go out. We went to the arcade. Like, he was down for, for doing things, you know. And I was actually pretty shocked. But then again, he wasn't over the age of 40, which makes sense. Anyway. I, I just can't, the whole dating situation just absolutely 100% sucks, it, it just sucks, so let's see what this article is bringing to the table, and let's see if I agree, because I probably agree with all of them, but number one, it's hard to deal with change, didn't I just say that, I promise you I just said that, when you're in your 40s, you know what you like and what you don't like and it can be harder than it was when you were younger to adapt and welcome a new relationship into your life and also do you know um at 40 it's like after all the hurt and stuff you've been through you know I don't trust anybody like myself i don't trust anybody like at all and then when i people it reminded me why I shouldn't number two number two number two the divorce factor complicates things maybe you're dating in your 40s after a divorce or even if not you're likely encounter other divorcees in the dating pool at this stage of life and that can be a complicating factor Yes, absolutely. Some people start dating right away after divorce or separation. When this happens, it's likely they haven't taken adequate time to process how the divorce impacted them emotionally. Yeah, see, at the age of 40, I feel as if we have this type of fear that, like, we can't slow down or we can't take a breath because we're 40, we're old, our life is over. Well, I don't feel as if I'm old, but it's just tough. I'm in a fucked up age bracket. <laughs> I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. And like I said, nobody wants to be alone, so we just kind of like jump into another relationship, relationship, relationship. And then number three. I think number three should actually be number one, but it's the kid factor. There are many ways kids can complicate dating in your 40s. Children can play into the equation heavily at this stage. Often, people already have children in their 40s or don't yet have children and sometimes feel rushed to do so. And there's the consideration of raising someone else's children that complicates things in a whole, you know, um, there are a desperate age related expectations. Dating in your 40s can bring to light an uncomfortable desperation it can't and i don't want to say like desperation 
situation, but you just know you don't want to be alone. No matter their own ages, men and women may be looking for partners of different ages. Sometimes that's merely a matter of life. Like, I, I agree with that. Like, see, I think for me, um, I don't know. I, I wouldn't mind dating younger. Um, but because I feel as if like the younger generation, I don't even know. I shouldn't even do that. Um, I just wish I could find somebody that got their shit together. That's all. Anyway. Number five, you feel out of practice. I couldn't even imagine trying to go on a date now. I wouldn't even know what to do. What do you talk about? What do you say? Where do you go? Although I do know that you always meet in a public place, but still, it's hard. In your 20s and 30s, you may have regularly gone out on dates, perhaps several in a month or so. But if you find yourself newly single in your 40s, the very notion of dating can feel entirely unfamiliar. And on top of that too, like people in their 40s, if they're divorced or just getting a divorce, you know, they've been with their loved ones for 15, 20 years, 18 years, and you, you, you're going to be out of touch with reality as far as dating, what people say, what do they talk about, um, it, it's just awkward. I think for me too, starting all over just terrifies me. You know, um, just getting to know someone. You know, and also too, at the age of 40, a lot of people kind of already know their flaws. So they try to hide it. Okay. Number six, it's harder to meet through friends. If you often met people to date through friends when you were younger, you might find that doesn't come as natural at 40 plus when your social life may be less blustering. Yes, as you get 40, you lose a lot of friends and so you no longer have that wingman. You no longer have that friend that has like single friends because at 40, most people are not single or they're getting out of something messy or you know so and at 42 like me it's it's hard to find people that you trust um it's hard to find friends period in the age of 40 especially like if you don't if you're not like working or something um number seven new technology leaves room for misunderstanding Yes, I think one of the most biggest pet peeves for dating in 40 is the whole text messaging factor. You know, and it's not even 40, but text messages is part of our newest technology. And I think a lot of things can get lost in text message or people can read it the way they want to. You know, um, text message can be taken out of content fast 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 and then also do this also like social media we have to keep up with like i'm not in like i'm not that tech savvy anymore like i used to you know i'm still learning how to use my mac uh i have an ipad and an iphone but there's many things that i have to go on youtube for to figure out to google to learn um to the end of finding a relationship over 40 often involves technology from swiping through potential matches on dating apps to communicating with possible partners also do like for me um dating apps suck because it seems as if for some reason in 2022 if you're on a dating app that automatically means you you're looking for a sex partner you know a lot of people on dating apps i realize at this age just wants to meet up and hook up and that's it and your girl is not all about that i want a relationship i want a relationship i want to be married eventually one day i want to have you know i want to look what look for an apartment with someone together you know or a condo or i'm just tired of being alone you know and i understand 
position to having more responsibilities in your 40s, you're likely have an entirely different set of priorities and timelines than what that may look different than it did in the past. When people are in their teens, 20s, and 30s, meeting new people, partying with friends, and socializing, it's something they desire and look forward to. But like I said, in your 40s, you know, you got babies, you got deadlines. Some people might be in college, they're working a full-time job and are in college. You know, grown people got two or three jobs because they gotta, they gotta pay that car note or something. And you might have two little ones on your hands. You might just got divorced and now you got two little ones in school and working. So your priority is not dating. Like your part dating is probably like the last on your list, depending on who you are and your responsibilities. You know, when I was in school, I didn't have time for this dating nonsense. Although I was with my psycho psychopath ex-boyfriend but even so i didn't have time to do anything like school was it school medical school took all my time it, it it really did um but even if i wasn't in a relationship while in school dating would not have been my first priority it, it wouldn't have been in the weekends i had papers to do i had finals to to study for i had midterms i had shit to do and on top of that, I also was an accountant, so I, I, I had to work school. So yeah, your priorities do change. And I don't say like at 40, but like when you're not on that same page with everyone else, like when you're trying to get your own shit together, dating is the like last thing on your list. In your 40s, more people are taken. Yeah, it's it's harder to find people who are single in their 40s. It, it is. When you're in your 20s and go to a party, everyone is single and ready to mingle. But it's not so much the case as we age. When you're younger, you're around peers who are largely single. Very few people have settled down into formally commitment like marriage. Yet in your 40s, many of your co-workers and natural peers are married and unavailable to date. Again, priorities have changed. We both have children. It's difficult. 13. You take dating too seriously. If you're looking for a serious relationship in your 40s, you could be approaching dating with a bit too much intensity. Making dates feel more like an interview than a chat with a potential match. That's another thing too. Um, I feel as if like in your 40s, people, if you're not married, you have to get married tomorrow. Or you have to do this or you have to do that. And it's not exactly true. I was watching some movie. And she was asking questions about the ex-girlfriend in the social media. And that's another thing, too. You know, in your 40s, people automatically, like, go to social media to check out the person's life. And we all know social media is... People lie. It's all a scam. Like, I think social media is all a scam. People only post good things. They never post bad things. And a lot of times, people fake it until they make it. You know, so nowadays people are going off social media to learn somebody and have that shit on social media. It's not even true. So, um, but yeah, you, some people do take dating seriously. It's like, okay, we're dating, so we're getting married next week. It's like people do take it a little too seriously. And then people always tend to have like a checklist.
checklist when you were 16, then 20, then in your 30s, like your checklist is not going to be the same 20 years ago. It, it's not because at the end of the day, you realize your checklist is unrealistic, 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 unrealistic. And then people saying your 40s people should be owning homes, having children, and have a decent amount in their 401k, but see, that's not life. It's not. Number 15, when you're, when you're 40, I think you are stuck in your ways, meaning like, you know, you know, a person can only be this or that or this and that, and that makes it difficult because in actuality, you're becoming picky as far as what you what you like and I'm not saying you should have any standards but sometimes we need to bring our standards down a little bit in your 40s you might find yourself hopelessly stuck to a type or avoiding a type based on your own past or experiences both men and women are guilty of this yes you know at 40 people tend to walk around saying well I've been hurt I've been hurt I've been hurt well we've all been hurt you know but um like you can say okay you know what I'm not dating anybody unless they're six feet tall well how's that working out for you you see where I'm going with this like you can't be stuck in a certain type you need to or when some people say I just date I just date white people or I just date black people like why are we putting ourselves in a bubble type of situation you like what you like but don't be so quick to dismiss people because of one little factor but see for me I, I can't date a short man I can't do it like I I can ignore a lot but I can't ignore the shortness I I can't you know it, it 16 sex is different now daters over 40 are likely seeking a satisfying sexual relationship as much as they were in their early ages of life but sex is different sex itself is different in your 40s which can add awkwardness or pressure to finding to putting a relationship Middle-aged sex requires a different focus and some new techniques to be satisfying. I think here, like, for me, you know, like in your 40s, like, a lot of people have only had sex with one person because most people have been married for years or they've been in a long relationship. Having sex with anyone new is awkward in their self. And at 40, like, legs don't go up the way they used to or... You know, your stand up on night might not be the way it was when you were in your thirties. You know, um yeah, sex is different and 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 in your forties, you know, um some people might start to need loop all the time. I guess a lot of things that come into play at forty when it comes to sex. For me, I think it's just um getting comfortable with somebody. You know, I'm not big on kissing. I'm a kisser when I know you. If I don't know you, I don't want your tongue in my mouth. And I promise you, my tongue does not want to be in your mouth either. You know, um, but it's just that whole comfort level. And then you got to learn people's flaws all over and what they look like in the morning. And it's just a whole morning breath. And it's just, uh, I sometimes it's just easier to be single. I, I kid you not. 17. You might feel old even though you're not. I feel that way because, you know, sometimes like when I get tired at, I don't know, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, I'm like, damn, I'm old. But then again, I'm like, what am I staying up for? It's bad enough that I already have sleeping issues, but it's like, why am I up till 2, 3, 4, 5 in the morning? Like, why? You know, um, if you're dating in your 40s, that might represent a different path from the one you have planned for yourself, and that could breed into 
Yeah, your girl's lonely. 